This is my 2013 Keystone Sprinter fifth wheel camper. I bought this thing new back in 2013 and unfortunately it spent its entire life uh, outside. I haven't had a cover to put it under anything. It's held up pretty well although I have had some small leak problems which I will cover in some other videos later. Uh, today I'm going to get up on the roof and start doing some things using a turnabon tape. Stick around, let's see how it goes. It's real dirty, I know, and I plan on cleaning that. But the first thing I'm going to do is go around the edge on this top edge strip right here, and I'm going to peel the loose caulking away. I'm going to clean all this edge right here on both sides and across the front and the back. Uh, there's caulking right here, as you can see, right in this area. It's still on there. I pulled all this away already. I'm just using a very small pocket knife here, going down behind the caulking where it's not loose, but it's really pretty much loose everywhere. Uh, pulling that away, I'm very delicately, without going too deep, I'm going in and scraping off what little bit of caulking is left on there as good as I can. And I'm going to scrub this all really good with a big brush, a nice brush and some detergent and make sure it's good and dry. Then I'm gonna take the Eternabond tape and run from the bottom of this gutter right here up over all this stuff and onto the roof as far as it'll go. That way it should give me a clean look from the uh, lower part when you're looking at it, and but yet give me a good seal up here. After I do all that, I'm going to take and scrub the entire roof and go around all the vents and things. This is the way the uh, seal along the front cap looks. It's not very nice. I've had to, you know, patch it and caulk it a little bit here and there over the years. But I'm gonna clean that all up today as good as I can and put that uh, tape on it. I'll show you what it looks like once I get it cleaned up. Okay, that has this side cleaned as good as I'm going to do it. Uh, it's got to dry. I'm going to let it dry overnight. It's too hot out here to be working anyways. But you can see what uh, it looks like when it's clean. It's still in pretty good shape. This is how it looks from this side. Turned out pretty good. Okay, it's the next morning here. I got out fairly early before it starts getting too hot and did some more cleaning. Uh, did this side yesterday. That probably took about 30, 45 minutes. This morning I came out and I've already done this side around the skylight, around the vent. I'm fixing to remove the lid of that vent so I can clean the back side. One thing on this antenna here is that's nothing but a leak right there. So. I'm gonna fix that today. And uh, I'm gonna remove that back air conditioner too because I've detected a little bit of soft wood just to the, the right side of it right there. What it's been doing, I think, and I think I caught it early enough, is it's been leaking right along this caulking line here, I believe, running up under there because the plywood is wet it's starting to come apart but it's still intact so I'm not going to rip this apart and try to replace any more of it so I've got that lifted up right now I'm gonna let it air out for the next couple of days if I can weather permitting
basically what I'm doing is kind of pre-measuring it to where it's going to go over into the gutter and then holding it down and pulling off the protective covering on it and then laying this down Got a little low with it right in there, but not bad. I'm going to come back and roll all this down here in a little bit. need to uh, rub this down now. Here's the roller I bought with this stuff. We'll see how it works here. And really I think all you want to do is just rub all the bubbles out as good as you can. It definitely squishes it down. I tell you this stuff is so sticky. I have 100% confidence that it's not coming loose. I've never seen anything so sticky. And what I'm going to do right here on this think is I was hoping that I could kind of rub this down with a sharpie in here and these little curves and stuff like that I don't even know if that's necessary but I think I'm gonna do it anyway get down in there and roll it up under that This is the third day. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. There's still some dew on the roof, so I can't really do a lot just yet. Uh, late yesterday, I did get this whole side put on. Of course, I'm getting better at doing it the more I do. Uh, the first side is not quite as good as this side. But it turned out pretty good. I rolled it right over down into that uh, little gutter that I was talking about. And then here's the front cap tape. Now when I get all this done, um, the next thing will be to scrub this whole entire roof. Uh, before I can do that though, i got to get this air conditioner back down into place. Here's an update on the air conditioner leak and what I think happened actually. Um, there's a joint or seam in the black seal right here. And I think water was getting into that because there was, you know, leaves and stuff built up here. So I think it gotten to the point where water was running along this edge here would go down in that crack and then that's the uh, the roofing material is cut to that point so from that point forward I think it was running that way that direction there right out into uh, onto the plywood and beneath the the roof covering itself Okay, on this skylight, I've already gone ahead and cut all the pieces to length to save a little bit of time on the video here. Uh, one thing to note, when you cut this stuff, you need to lay it on something. I got an old piece of plastic I lay it on and I cut it with a razor knife. There's the finished uh, product there. I still got to do that drain or that vent pipe. I was going to use a car wash brush to wash all this, but it just is not going to do the job. 
So I'm going to wash it all by hand with this brush right here, like I've already done some of that. And I'm using this fantastic uh, all-purpose cleaner with bleach. Just kind of spraying it on there. And really I found out if you let it set for a minute or two, it does much better. So I'm going to spray it on there. And I read online where bleach doesn't hurt these kind of roofs, really. They say it's a good cleaner. It uh, kills the mold and mildew and stuff that can actually hurt the, hurt the TPO roof. Making some progress, but I go get some more cleaner. So I didn't come all the way to the very back of this thing. And the reason I didn't is because this has leaked here over the years and over there. I currently have it stopped. and It's been stopped now for a couple years. But what happened is it leaked down into the back wall. And that back wall has got some rot all in it. So I'm going to be ripping out that back wall the next big project I do on this. Okay, this is my second try on painting this thing. Uh, the first can of spray paint I had was bad. It wouldn't do anything but spit and sputter. So I went back to Lowe's this time and got this, which is Krylon Fusion All-in-One. So we're gonna see how this works. I think the color's gonna be close enough. Okay, that did it. One can here gave me two good coats on this thing. I think the color's gonna be a whole lot better than it was when it was white. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit, then get it mad back to the unit on top of the RV, and I'll show you what all that looks like when it gets put together. Okay, here's the after shot when I'm completely through with everything up here. I have all the uh, patches done with the Eternabond tape. They turned out really nicely. I have this air conditioner cover painted to match that one up there it's not an exact match but i found that if you close one eye and squint really hard with the other they look almost identical anyway that's going to wrap it up for this project if you saw anything that you liked here or if you enjoyed the video in some way or maybe it helped you out on your camper please do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe i really would appreciate it Thanks for watching.